What's up, YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be going over my top five tight ends for the 2023 NFL Draft, starting with Luke Musgrave from Oregon State. 6'6", 255 pounds. An injury shortened his 2022 season. Um, and then 2020 was shortened because of COVID. So th there is a little bit of an issue there as far as tape, but everything I have been able to see from him, he's a pretty solid-ass player. For his size, his route running is pretty solid, smooth hips. Could stand to get a little bit stronger, um, but as far as his blocking goes, he's a very willing blocker, and his technique is actually pretty solid. Decent hands and everything like that. He could just get a little bit stronger. Um, pretty solid ball skills. Um, and it, he's a bit of a risk because of the limited snaps, but I see him as a really solid third-round tight end um, that can kind of give you a little bit of everything. Um, moving on, Sam Laporta who, I mean, I'm a Dolphins fan, and if you're following Dolphins Twitter, this guy has been a target of ours for a while. The Dolphins are also very interested. It's not just the fans. I, I like him a lot. Um, but he's from Iowa, 6'3", 245 pounds, highly targeted at Iowa. They use him a lot. Um, can make some pretty contested catch, some pretty good contested catches. He's not elite at it, but he's solid. Um, he's pretty good at beating zone. He recognizes it and everything like that. Uh Solid blocker and very willing. I think his technique could stand to improve a little bit, but it, it is solid. Catch production is very good. Like I said, they did throw to him a lot. Uh, lines up all over the place, in line, out wide, in the slot. You can move him all over the place. Um, pretty solid route runner, but where he really makes money, actually, is his yak ability. He is very hard to tackle, very strong, and will absolutely get big boy yak. Um his contested catches, like I said, it, it's not necessarily at the elite level of some of the other tight ends, but I again, I see him as a really solid um, late second, early third round kind of guy. Uh, moving on, Dalton Kincaid. And this, this is going to be a guy that kind of depends on your position, like on, on your team. Um, he is from Utah, 6'4", 240 pounds. This guy is not really going to be much of a blocker for you. He's mostly just a pass-catching tight end. Um, but again, it depends. If you're a pass-heavy team, that might not be a big deal to you. But he's a pretty fluid route runner for a tight end. Has very good athleticism and speed to create mismatches. Um, really good ball skills to him. Great with contested catches. Not super strong, especially in the blocking game, like I said. And he's just overall not a great blocker. Um, but can absolutely move around and get mismatches. Very, very talented receiving tight end. He doesn't fit my team very well because we need our tight ends to block. That's why we let go of Mike Kosicki. But if you are a pass-heavy team, this guy can be very good for you. It, it just depends on what you're looking for. Moving on, Michael Mayer from Notre Dame, 6'4", 265 pounds. Uh, this guy can line up at H-back, in line, and in the slot. Um, get He will get some big boy yak for you. Solid blocker, but not necessarily dominant in that regard. Uh, can lead block. You could probably even line him up at fullback if, if you really wanted him to. Um, finishes his blocks pretty well. Route running is decent for his size. Decent athleticism to him. Solid hands. Uh, shown the ability to cut, catch in traffic pretty well. Good ball skills overall. Pretty clutch player as well. High points the ball. Um, just a really solid-ass uh, second-round tight end. Um, but then there is Darnell Washington from Georgia. 6'7", 270 pounds. And he was he kind of exploded at the combine. I already liked him a lot, and then the combine just kind of accentuated it. Um, this guy is a guy that can play in line or in the slot. Pretty athletic guy, especially for his size. Um, blocking technique is is pretty good. He's he's probably the best blocking tight end on this list, in my opinion. And I think he's only going to get better because his technique is steadily improving. Um, route running. Isn't super great, but he's 6'7", 270 pounds. I'm not really expecting that from him, but he's got very good hands. And like I said, he is a pretty solid athlete as well. Um, but he is a really, really good blocking tight end that is also going to give you a lot of value. Just having those great hands and being 6'7", being able to jump out the fucking building. Um, I think this guy can absolutely be a dominant blocking tight end. With, that gives you some pretty good value in the passing game as well. I see him as like a late first, early second round talent. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.